I believe, if I may say, um, in terms of some self-analysis and maybe even some self-criticism, we've become bogged down with governmental matters and fighting to just um, get our agendas um, through, get our budgets through, and may have lost touch a bit um, with, with the common person and, and common issues. But no one can say that we haven't pushed the IT agenda, telecommunications agenda, or business agenda, or resources, or infrastructure, or agriculture, or indigenous people's affairs. That was Alliance for Change leader Raphael Trotman rating his party's performance in the coalition government since assuming office in May 2015. Trotman was quick to defend his members who are sitting MPs and ministers of government as he described their performance as admirable. When one looks at our performance at, uh, in telecommunications, uh, in security, in agriculture, in natural resources, if I may add myself, in public infrastructure, um, <coughs> in indigenous people's affairs, uh, that we, we, ha in, we have done well. Despite these praises, the performances of most of the AFC ministers have been generally poor, according to critics and independent analysts. In fact, under David Patterson's leadership of the Public Infrastructure Ministry, that ministry has seen a slow implementation rate of its projects with the expenditure of millions of dollars without key checks and balances being followed, especially in relation to the catastrophic Durban Park project. While for public security, one of the largest prison unrest and fire occurred on the Minister Kemraj Ramjitan's watch, along with other major scandals. Also, both Catherine Hughes, who heads the Ministry of Public Telecommunications, and Dominic Gaskin, who heads the Ministry of Business and Tourism, have delivered poor performances in their sector, especially when one looks at the failure to liberalize the telecommunications sector and attract foreign direct investments. Calls are also being made for the Agriculture Minister Noel Holder's resignation in light of his handling of the downsizing of the sugar industry. We're not saying that we are perfect. Far be it for us to say that we are perfect and far from perfection are we. But we can say that with what we've been given and working um, with 12 seats in Parliament that we've done uh, much. And of course there's much room for improvement. Aside from this, the AFC leader admitted that his party has lost touch with common issues and plans to start touching base with its supporters. The fact that the AFC has not been able to successfully push for constitutional reform, a platform on which the party campaigned, some pundits believes that this has seriously damaged its credibility and influence within the coalition. Samuel Suknanden, The Evening News.